I'm LP Master 6 and welcome to Yoshi's Story for Nintendo 64. Released December 21st, 1997 at the very tail end, right where you can buy it as a last minute Christmas gift if you're really, really late buying gifts. In Japan only, the rest of the world, it came out in 1998 and now I get to read the story to you like a children's storybook. <clears throat> Out of the blue, the island fell. Darkness by an evil spell, something like that. The blink of an eye was all it took, and the island became a storybook. The super happy tree vanished too, and once happy Yoshis began to stew. Only baby Bowser could be so mean to ruin the happy Yoshi's dream. The island had paid an awful cost, for the super happy tree was lost. Elsewhere on the pop-up aisle, some Yoshi eggs survived the trial. The spotted eggs in that Yoshi nest would soon face baby Bowser's test. One by one, they began to hatch. Six little Yoshis! A perfect batch! They scratched their heads and looked around. Some even tried to pound the ground. Sadness darkened every Yoshi's face. It should have been a super happy place! They quickly saw the problem at hand required a cunning Yoshi plan. If we grow super happy, the Yoshis thought, we'll spoil Bowser's evil plot. Their mission then was crystal clear. They had to go and spread the cheer! So it was, they all agreed, to rescue the super happy tree. They set out to follow the trail of fruit to find where the tree had taken root. One Yoshi wondered, as he bounced, if baby Bowser could be trounced. We'll stay together, the others cried, and stomp his baby Bowser hide. By eating fruit and having fun, the deed would surely soon be done. And so the Yoshi's quest began to find the tree and save the land. Just turn the page and you will see how happiness grows in a tree. <laughs> Every line in that is good. The rhymes aren't too forced. I mean a little, but to the point where it's okay because it's a kid's storybook. But then he says, happiness grows in a tree. Like, what kind of moral is that for kids to relate to? Trees are good. Like, you're only happy. If, is it the same? Like, you know, you pay paradise and put up a parking lot. Like, you're destroying trees for evil. I don't understand. But, I mean, the point is, we got to become happy and we need trees for it. So let's get into the options, because you're not here to see gameplay, you are here to see options. Now, very exciting tradition here. We wonder why there are two pretty much identical options here. Now, mono is self-explanatory, but stereo and headphones would be the same thing, right? I finally learned, thanks to this game's manual, why they're separate. Headphones is different because thanks to a warning in the game's manual, I'm sorry, I'm sounding redundant. It says, if you're using headphones, please use headphones mode for maximum enjoyment of the game's sound effects, something like that. So the difference is that sound effects are either louder or quieter in headphones mode. I don't know which because I haven't tried it out and I don't care enough to. I'm just glad to know that there's a difference, but wouldn't it make more sense to just have a slider in the settings for background music and foreground music, AKA sound effects. Whatever. We can choose two different languages, but I speak English. I only speak a little bit of Japanese and I forgot most of my college Japanese anyway. So, all right, let's erase all the data just for fun. I already did it, so this is useless. 
We get that little fanfare, but in the Japanese version, it's an explosion sound effect. There are actually quite a few differences between the Japanese and international versions of this game, but we'll get into them when we get into them. Not every single one, because that would just be nitpicking stuff, and who cares? Like, I'll have to be pretty low on commentary to get to that point. But we are playing Nintendo's first 2D in-house side-scrolling platformer for the Nintendo 64. They made it partially because they wanted to show that 2D is still alive and very capable on the system. And I mean, it's their thing. One of the main guys here is the guy who perfected 2D platforming, Takashi Tezuka. And uh, the director of the game is Hideki Kono, most famous for Mario Kart. But he did do Yoshi's Story. Miyamoto was only a supervisor. But there are some differences here from Yoshi's Island. I'll be assuming you either have played, watched, or know enough about Yoshi's Island for me to make references. If not, too bad, oh well, I'm sorry. They won't be very in-depth, so it's okay. But you have to play with a control stick compared to a D-pad, and that sucks. <laughs> There's no option to use the D-pad at all. And I'm not a big fan of playing a 2D game with a control stick, an analog stick. Now, a lot of people praised it at the time, but a lot of people hated the control stick. So, very mixed on that. Just like everything else in the game, almost. But we'll get to that later, how people felt about the game. Uh, there was a new mechanic I didn't say there. This is all the same. Uh, here's the jump without me holding up. Here's the flutter jump with me holding up. Oh, big difference. So, you gotta keep that in mind while you're playing. I'm not sure how to feel about it. All of this is the same, except... You can't hold an enemy or anything in your mouth. If you put something in your mouth, you automatically swallow it. So, you can't spit things back out. Because your main goal is to eat fruit. Levels loop. There's no goal in the levels. To finish a stage, you have to eat 30 fruit. The game is about score. It is not about getting to the end. You don't have to play every level. To beat the game, you only have to play six. There are six worlds and four levels in each world, but you only get to play one per run of the game. This game is more like Star Fox 64 than it's like Yoshi's Island. Yoshi gets happier when he uh, <laughs> brutally murders enemies because your health is called in the manual the mood meter, but it's officially called in the game the smile meter. This whole game is about Yoshi becoming super happy, and Yoshi just loves to murder enemies, he does not like to get hit by them. And eating them isn't as good as just killing them. So, you know, it, it, that's a little fucked up, Yoshi. All right, here's a new mechanic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, this is obviously better, more fluid than Yoshi's Island. You can control it way better, but you can also set where the egg will end, and that's important because it'll have a little firework display at the end. So if you don't want to hit something, like, for example, I only want to hit this grape, I could just release it here and it would only hit the grape, but I don't want to waste an egg. Uh, I've never seen anybody play the practice stage on YouTube, so that's part of why I'm doing it here. And so I can get the boring part of the explanation out of the way, so feel free to skip ahead. Uh, this is a beautiful poem. Rock block, so blue and hard. Break it with eggs. Leave it in shards. Okay. Oh, let's be friends. This is a practice course, so the white shy guy can't help you yet. The white shy guy is like a one-up. There is not an actual life system. I would press start to show you how many lives we have because, well, one, it doesn't show us. But two, if you press start while in practice, uh, you leave. But essentially, you're just playing as the six Yoshis going through this adventure, and if you die... They get kidnapped by the fly guys, called flying shy guys in this game, because they're not really, they don't have the propellers in most cases. They have those weird water wheel things that they're using to fly. Uh, they'll be kidnapped and taken to Bowser's castle. And a white shy guy will actually rescue one for you if you lose one. So he's the only one-up system in the game, sort of. And yeah, the smile meter, eating yucky food will only make the smile meter frown. If a Yoshi does not like a fruit, it will not go on uh, the fruit display, which or the fruit frame, sorry, 
As it said earlier, you can change it with the control pad. I'm leaving it at default for now. Uh-oh, which one was default? Oh no, I've screwed up. We're gonna go with that one. But yeah, you actually, you get unhappy if you eat a pepper. Most Yoshis do not like peppers. And each Yoshi has a favorite fruit. Okay, yeah, the power flower, I'll demonstrate this. It has empty hearts. That refills your health, aka the smile meter, but it doesn't add to your score. And it doesn't count as a fruit. So this game is a score attack. You're trying to get the best score possible. And yes, ground pounding. Remember, well, it technically debuted in Wario Land, but it made its proper debut in Yoshi's Island. So it's more of a Yoshi mechanic than a Mario mechanic. Oops, wrong button. And this is the first Yoshi game to not have Mario in it at all. Even the puzzle games have Mario in it quite a bit. But no, no Mario in this game. It's still a Mario game. I'd consider any Yoshi game a Mario game. Same with Donkey Kong, Wario, etc. When Yoshi eats heart fruits, which don't count on the fruit frame, he becomes super happy. For a short time, he performs all his moves with extra flair. Super happy Yoshi has endless eggs and a longer tongue, and he's even invincible. If you pound the ground, every bubble pops and Shy Guys turn into lucky fruits. Okay. Oh no! I did not want to waste an egg. Alright, what was that up there? I could have sworn- Oh! Sometimes I confuse the fruit frame for actual fruits that are in the stage. That is not the case. Watch this. Oh! Oh, we got an extra fruit. Because I turned the Shy Guy into one. Cool. I'm not sure if the white shy guy, I haven't been paying enough attention, actually um, takes up a slot in your six eggs, but uh, each Yoshi has things they like, but they all dislike the same things, for the most part. That's not entirely true. Uh, but all Yoshis love honeydew melons, not watermelons, honeydew melons. That's the best thing you can get. The best thing you can do, because there's a combo bonus for getting the same fruit in a row, is get 30 melons and in the stage. That's the best score you can possibly get. But each Yoshi has a different favorite fruit than the other Yoshis. So keep that in mind if you're playing because those are also good choices for score. Ooh, this is a power bee. It will fully heal you. Oh, we're out of eggs? Oh, we had infinite eggs while we were super happy, but I didn't really show that off. And it doesn't leave you with six, which makes me sad. But whatever. All right. R button snife. Use the R button to sniff. Or as my wife and I say a lot of the time, snife because we're really stupid and we have that stupid marriage humor. But we love it. You would probably think it's awful and cringy. But I'm pretty sure that's just how intimacy works, right? Uh, yes. You can read this for yourself. I just want to point out that Yoshi canonically barks. It's time to pound the ground. Yes, I will demonstrate the sniffing mechanic here. Oh yeah, I was going to show you can't kill these with eggs. These blocks are always there. I didn't know that was there though. So that's cool. Okay, but here's where I'll demonstrate sniffing. All right, here's if there's no secret nearby. Oh, hold on. A slow sniff. And you see the nostrils, and it's a nice, comfortable... Actually, that looks painful, the way his nostrils open and close. And then it's faster, but you get closer, and he gets more alert. And then eventually, he's barking and waving his arms. So, you want a ground pound. There you go. See, we got a bonus for eating two melons in a row. A secret for you. This is an unusual place. If you use your nose, you'll find out why. I wonder. Yep. You can make all sorts of things happen. There's a lot of good secrets in this game. Mm. Yes, we already saw this. They're repeating themselves. We don't need to deal with that. You can zoom the fruit frame all the way out to where the fruit is are just barely on the screen if you really want to do that. Uh, sure. I'm not too worried about score here, so I'm just going to eat whatever. This is the only stage of the game that does not have 30 fruit or 30 melons. Every level has over 60 fruit except this one. This one only has 20 melons. So you can't get 30 melons and finish. Special delivery, 
ground pound to load up the melon boxes, then carry them to the finish. Yes, most stages will have a mini game, and this is the most common one. We want to grab the melon boxes here, but we have to balance them. Luckily, this is just practice, so it's very, very easy. And that is my favorite sound clip ever. Yum, 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 hoo! Oh, it's so good. Uh, but here's the end of the stage. It doesn't loop because it's just practice. So we can just grab one more melon, and that was a weird camera shift. Never seen that happen before, but okay. So happy. Ah, uh, and here's how the scoring works. It's very weird to me that this is a platformer that has a Star Fox arcade-based progression system and a score. It's essentially a score attack platformer. Very odd choice for Nintendo, but we can show off trial mode, I guess, because we don't have any levels unlocked yet. You have to beat a level in the story mode to unlock it for trial mode. It's just a score attack. Keeps your high score for the cartridge. And that's it. All right, here we go. All right, we have four options to choose from here. Only for page one, AKA world one. When we beat one of these levels, we'll go on to the next page. So to finish the game, you have to play the game four times. Now after this, depending on how many hearts we get, not, uh, not the heart fruit, but full big hearts. There are only three in every single level. If you get all three, you can play any of the four levels in the next world. But if you only get one, you can only play uh, level one and two of the next world. Can I? There we go. If you don't get any, you can only play level one of page two. If you get all, or if you get two, you can do one, two, and three, and so on and so forth. You see how it goes, right? But they start you off here because this is page one with access to every level. So I'm going to try to get all three hearts in every level. I can't promise that I will because you don't really get anything but score for it. And I'm going to do it. I feel like most people do it. Um, I'm going to be playing level one in all six worlds. And then the game will be over. And then we'll do another run. Level two in all six worlds. Then level three in all six worlds. And then level four in all six worlds. And then we'll be done. There are 24 levels not counting practice in the game. So here we go. Page one beginning, treasure hunt. And at the start of every run of the game, you get to press A, oh, bananas, and get your lucky fruit. That is essentially your second best fruit after melons. All the Yoshis have identical gameplay, they just have a different favorite fruit. And in the international versions only, not the Japanese version, they have different pitches in their voices. Yoshi is finally voiced for the first time by Kazumi Totaka, who also composed the game. Sound effects were done by Hajime Wakai, who is one of my favorite Nintendo composers. I love him so much. Very, very underrated, but Kazumi Totaka just has such a beautiful ear for melody, but he never lets you fully enjoy the melody because he always attaches a weird song to it, like... He'll have a gorgeous melody, and then the way he'll present it will be the weirdest arrangement ever. And this is pretty much the whole song throughout the game. The, titles, uh, the title theme is called Yoshi's Story, and this is called Yoshi's Song. And it has been remixed like a million times over the years. This is uh, just a well-beloved song. Hold on, what is that? Oh, that's an apple. I thought it was a heart. Okay. Uh, I want a good score here, so I am going to try to get 30 melons for, at the very least, the first stage. I'm not going to do an all-melon run, everybody does that, but if I get to the end of the stage, I'm going to loop back around uh, after the melons, then I'll start collecting the lucky fruit, and then if I can't find enough of the lucky fruit somehow, I'll go for favorite fruit. If I'm desperate, I'll do it at, hello? Am I not on it? This is very finicky. You have to be on the exact right spot. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Beautiful. 
Nap time? There are four Miss Warps on each course. Find them and wake them up. If other Warps are awake, jump on one to warp to another. When a Yoshi is lost, you'll start from the highest numbered warp, ooh, highest numbered warp you have reached. So these are checkpoints and warps. Because you're supposed to fully explore the levels, much like Yoshi's Island, but in this case for the best fruit. You can finish every level in a matter of five minutes just by finding the, eating the first 30 fruit you find. But I, w I thought she would warp us to herself, but okay, that's cool. In some Nintendo Power issues back in the day, they were called Mr. Warp. Very sexist, because that's Miss Warp. Way cooler. Packy Derm. Pack E won't let you buy unless you give something special a try. Hmm. Flutter Jump? Nope. What if we go down? Nope. He follows. You have to ground pound. But I believe... Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, it is this way. Oh, it's right here. Ooh, beautiful. It's just coins. You might be wondering, what do coins do? I have no clue. I think they just add to your score. Because again, no life system. Surprise ball. You can't eat it, but if you use your tongue, you'll be surprised. That sounds like I don't want to, but... That's all that does. I don't remember if that was in practice. Once you get to the top, you get a free melon! That's nice of the game to do. And if you eat six of something in the row, you get a heart fruit spawning! Ah, oh, it feels so good to be super happy. Alright, oh, we get to sniff some more. Because I feel like on these branching paths, you get to do a lot of sniffing. Oh yeah, I ground pounded, so he turned into the lucky fruit. Because that's what happens when you're super happy. But I'm not going to be making the most of this here. Mm. Oh, hold on. The sniffing was getting faster. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that was my imagination. Oh! I did not mean to do that, but okay. Oh, oh. I bet this is just coins. Oh, no, it's a melon. Okay, cool. So I really do want to show at least one all-melon run of a stage, and I did practice this level. I didn't practice most levels. In fact, there are some levels of this game I've never played. Mm, hit the question mark block and cross the starting line to begin the race. The faster you go, the more melons you'll win at the goal line. This is another mini game. It doesn't sound like a different one, but it is. All right, no, nope. wrong button. You see the chomp's gonna come eat our melons. So if we finish and we don't, oh, I want the coin, what, what? No, don't get the coin. We're coming back for the melons anyway. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. I mean, this is the first level in the game. But if you take too long, he'll eat the melons. So the longer you take, the fewer melons you get. But the mini games are usually the best way in any level to get melons. And you'll pretty much, if you do well, always get a heart fruit. But that was a Y. You want to collect as many letters as possible in the game, I think. It might do nothing, but I've seen sources and never any proof say that you get a different message at the end of, or get a different ending, sorry. They spell out a message. There's a letter in every level, not in the Japanese version, though. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take your eggs. Sure. Uh, oh, I knew it. Wait, where is it? Oh, there was a question mark, or an exclamation point. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! Maybe this is the one I couldn't get in practice, because I am so confused. Where is it? Okay, so it's up here. Oh, Yoshi was just confused because of the branching pass. Cool, and it's just two coins. So a lot of these are useless. So we're going to move on. I'm not going to waste your time too much here. What's down here? Nothing? There's probably something if we sniff, but I'm not going to go to the top and figure it out. Okay, yeah, we don't need to see this again. We already had to pass by this before. But you want to make sure to get all the warps. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in this game. But it's kind of annoying that there's only six 
levels and then you beat the game and you have to do it again. It just doesn't work that well for a platformer. Instead of warp pipes, you get magic vases. Or vases, I guess. And we get to see my second favorite character of anything of all time. Hello, Poochie. Poochie will gladly show you the way. He often stops to sniff a secret. And what the hell is this? Who tied him to this post? Was that Bowser? Oh, that just makes me so mad. All right, anytime he stops, ground pound where he was. Again, very finicky. Yeah, okay, it was more to the right. And when you ground pound, shy guys change colors. Uh, you gain more health if you eat a shy guy that's your color, which is pretty cool. Huh. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, if you kill enemies with eggs, uh, that gives you more health than jumping on them. All right, and this is the treasure hunt aspect. Poochie is taking you on a treasure hunt, essentially. All right, where is it? Okay, it's always slightly to the right of wherever I am. And I don't know if there's anything here where he's standing, but have a heart. Find the special hearts to open other courses on the next page. Three hearts are hidden in each course. Listen for ringing chimes when one is near. So even if it's not on screen, you'll see it. And yes, you can see him at the bottom there. All right, I don't know that there's anything here. He's just stopping to show us the hearts there, I guess. I'm pretty sure. Huh. Huh. Uh, sure. No? Okay, never mind. We don't need eggs. We're good. Power flowers will also not give you eggs. White shy guy? The white shy guy follows you around. Does he want to be your friend? I don't know if there's one in this level. I can't find it, and I didn't want to look it up. He might know a secret, but he won't reveal it until you get him out of here. Yeah, okay. Because you'd think, oh, this is going to be a white shy guy. But it's not. It's a melon. <laughs> All right, another one. Oh. And then you're thinking, oh no, how do I get that? Well, you can just jump. Or you can ground pound. And the secret Poochie's talking about is this. Oh, another one here. This one kind of tripped me up the first time. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back this way before we follow Poochie anymore because I want Miss Warp. And, oops. I'm getting the buttons very confused. Oh, it tricked me. I want my egg back. Uh, no melons this way. There's pretty much no point unless you really want coins to go on the path that Poochie does not take you. Ooh, nice. All right, we're invincible, so I'm just... Oh, we don't insta-kill them. Oh, they push us around. Oh, my God. Okay, that that's really annoying. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me guess. Yes, beautiful. All right, what is this? <gasps> coins. You gotta get the coins. Oh, no. One of the coins despawned? Are you kidding? If you get all five of those jumping coins, you get a melon. We now can... I, I can't show you an all-melon run. What the hell? Why did it despawn? That sucks. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to redo the stage because that's no fun. Mm. I'm really annoyed right now, though. Oh, well, I can just describe to you what getting all melons lo looks like. Because it doesn't really make that much of a difference. And... <gasps> what is this? The final heart! They were all in the treasure hunt section. All right, thank you, Poochie. Three more fruits. And you get one just for going to the end. And that's it. That's the end of the stage. So I actually missed two. Huh. Okay, but I know what one of them is. And there's no secret right here, so don't worry about it. You can't ride Poochie. He's just here to show you secrets. A lot less useful. Big downgrade from Yoshi's Island, but he is still the best. I love him very, very much. I hope it wasn't Yoshi who tied him to the thing. Of course, these baby Yoshis just hatched, and they automatically have a bloodlust. And they somehow know all about the super happy tree. Even though you get the impression they didn't talk to other Yoshis. Uh, Nintendo Capri Sun told me that you can... Dum -ba -bum. 
Oh, oops. I was dumb enough to miss this. You can't pop bubbles without an egg by bouncing them around enough. But I don't think he showed it off, so I'm not entirely sure it's possible, but I'll still take his word for it. If you get all of the same fruit instead of a heart, it'll show you that fruit. So we would have seen a melon. Uh, but as you can see, for a per perfect score, you're encouraged to get melons because they have their own category here separate from fruit. <laughs> uh, well, except the, combina the combo, I think, goes in the fruit category. That is not a bad score. Not my best score, though. Because I didn't get all 30 melons. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, let's keep going here. I'm not going to cut the video yet. I got some neat facts, but between every page, you get this song. And so the adventure began. The Yoshis set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. That's the pachyderm. Pachyderm is a word that means uh, an animal with a mammal with skin like an elephant or a rhino or a hippo. I th maybe not hippos, but I think. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Because that's how you destroy the evil Bowser, with happiness. 